Nothing in the dressers. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepherd. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know you bring me some. Isn't that interesting? The origami killer's usual thing is putting an orchid on his victim's chest and origami figure in their hands. Thus the name origami killer. So it's obvious she's either defending him or doesn't remember just yet. Huh. What's this? Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. I could tell from the flashback. Father was a douche. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. Yeah, well, the only thing that I can possibly imagine us needing is flowers, so... Let's see if we can find some flowers. Yeah, I saw these right when I was passing by, so... Let's nab one, because nobody's going to miss them. Apologies for the last part. I know I, uh, I know I was chattering and babbling a bit more than I normally do, but y'all know the story by now. Here you go. Here's a flower for you. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. Yup. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. It's obvious we're getting somewhere I now. cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? To the foster family. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. Hmm. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. Uh. If you only knew how much I missed him. Stop Please, on. Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. Oh, God. That isn't ominous at all. <laughs> She's going to start strangling me right now, isn't she? Apparently not. Madison knows who the origami killer is now because... Because she figured it all out. She knew the orchids, the flowers, and Shepard. John Shepard having a twin brother. It's obvious the twin brother is the origami killer. Now Madison knows. So that makes one person who knows who the killer is. Now we just need to figure out if Ethan, Norman, and Shelby will figure it out. Alright, and we're going on to the last trial. in the Bloody Mary room. The last origami figure. The last trial. And he's moving very, very slow. Five, five hours later, we're still in this hallway. <laughs> Whoa, blinding room of whiteness. What kind of room is this? What kind of what kind of building is this? This 
a glowing red hallway and now a bleach white room. <laughs> the last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. A poison? It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Oh my god. Save Sean. And die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. Um... Kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous. I'll find some other way. I'm sure I can save him. Yeah. I don't want to risk Ethan's life when I want all four characters to live in the very end. Yeah, let's leave. I'll find you, Sean. I'll figure out a way and I'll come and get you, son. That was probably a quick decision on my part, but we have three clues out of five, so we should be able to figure it out. Actually, this is kind of coinciding with an ending I want to see, so... You can kind of guess where I'm get going with this. You'll see in a minute. I'm nowhere and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address. Come on, there's gotta be a way to do this. I've got to choose one at random. Go there right away. It's my last chance to save Sean. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. Let's see what we have to work with. Five. 852 Theodore Roosevelt Lane, 852 Franklin Roosevelt Lane, 852 Franklin Roosevelt Road, 852 Theodore Roosevelt Park, spelled with a C apparently, and 852 Theodore, whoa, what the hell? 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. Um, let's see what the phone is all about. Alright, I, I heard a bit of seagulls and a, and a boat, so it has to be near the water, which is 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. However, I do not want Ethan to get to Sean's location, because I want to actually see, see the level with only the other characters arriving at the, at the scene, not Ethan. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to lead him astray and... We might as well go to 852 Theodore Roosevelt Park. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. The only clue I have is the videos of Sean from phone. Uh, yeah, let's do it. It's the wrong address, but... I kind of want to see the ending that doesn't involve Ethan whatsoever. A restaurant. God damn restaurant. I got the wrong address. I screwed up everything. Christ. I'm so sorry, Sean. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. That's hard to fail, but... Unfortunately, I really want to see that particular ending, so... Sorry, Ethan.